September 2022, I posted a video about how I had seemingly fixed my palpitations. Four months later, my palpitations are a distant memory. In this four minute video, I'm going to share you with you all the things I have done to reduce and then finally fix my palpitations. They no longer bother me, even at the times they used to. In the past, they were at their worst when I was trying to sleep or in the middle of the afternoon. They would just come on like clockwork. I have Holter monitor test results showing I went from nearly 10% of heartbeats being ectopic to virtually none. In fact, the only time now they show up is after serious, strenuous efforts such as a big powerlifting session or one of my more intense longer runs. On the rare day I don't exercise, I don't have them at all. This has made such a difference in my life. It was after my first AFib episode they seemingly started. I had never had these before. They scared me each time they went off. I learned after a while that going for a walk when they got bad seemed to help calm them a little bit. Fortunately, I work remote so I could do this. To treat my AFib, I then started walking an hour each evening. On Halloween 2021, I set out to lose weight and through proper diet and exercise, being mindful and using a method I now call the shift, I've lost 110 pounds and went from someone who couldn't climb two flights of stairs without stopping for breath into someone who runs 10Ks. This was both good and bad for my palpitations. See, I had them less often. They were less scary as I'd grown more confident in my health, but when I did have them, the ventricular beats tended to hit really hard, even painfully. Stronger heart meant stronger beats, I guess. So, the following is not medical advice, just the supplements I used according to their label. They may not work for you, and you should be open with your doctor before you try them, as they can possibly interfere with the medications you are on. I'm only sharing where I have found success. I'm not making a recommendation for anybody. Here is just a small sample of the things I have tried so far for my ectopic beats, my PVCs and PACs. Tell me if these sound familiar. Weight loss, eliminated caffeine, lots of walking, lots of running, keto low carb dieting, high carb bodybuilder style dieting, removed processed foods, intermittent fasting, stopped all alcohol consumption for over two years now, worked with cardiologists to adjust my dose of beta blockers and other medications, and I worked with him to completely remove blood pressure medication from my life. Meditation, vitamin C, magnesium, zinc, ubiquinol, melatonin, potassium, B2, B6, B12, etc, etc. I've really spent far too much money on various supplements that didn't help me at all. But my palpitations, PVCs, PACs all bothered me so much, I was determined to do all I could to eliminate them. In August this year, I went on flecainide as I'd had another AFib attack after 677 days. It was a pretty rough episode, but I figured at least the flecainide will help calm my ectopic beats and palpitations down. It did a little bit, but not that much. That's when I started cramming in research, and I shared it with you in my previous video, shown above. Here is what I use, and also, I'm going to tell you I fully confirmed this was working for me without a doubt. I started taking 1,000 milligrams of taurine and 1,000 milligrams of L-arginine three times daily, evenly spaced apart. The results were dramatic, so much so I made a video to share the results. Over 40,000 of you have watched that video since. Well, a few weeks ago, I went and met an electrophysiologist to assess me for ablation and saw my cardiologist again. He said the supplements may have helped, but it was more likely the flecainide that really bothered me as I had a video out about it that so many people had watched, so I wanted to be sure. I went off the taurine and arginine. Within two days, my palpitations all returned. Within four days, they were painful again. I went back on my supplements, and within 24 hours, just like last time, they were virtually gone. Here we are a couple weeks later, and they are completely gone, except for after grueling workouts. And even then, they are not so intense, they're not painful, and they go away soon after. About every Every two weeks I'll skip the supplements for an entire day so I have this fear they could build up so this is a sort of a safety thing I do and I have done this about every two weeks I've never had the palpitations come back I hope that you also can find something to give you some relief from your annoying ectopic beats palpitations ectopics PVCs PACs seem to be very specific to the individual many people will not find a solution and have just learned to live with them that may be the case but I hope you find yours all the best in your search in the meantime if you're wanting to use lifestyle modification to lose weight and treat your palpitations or AFib, but you just can't seem to get yourself going. Check out my short web series about making the shift, a system I use to lose over 110 pounds so far and continue to do so. Your friend, Big Northern Bear, out.